Good evening, Dalton. Good evening, Chattanooga. Welcome to Sports Viewpoints. We call it Sports Viewpoints for a reason. We take your viewpoints on sports. Tonight we have special guest Derek Wall, Athletic Director of Dalton State College. Derek, thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure to be here. And um, we've got a lot of big news tonight about Dalton State. They just won the NAIA Men's National Basketball Tournament. Yes. So we're going to talk about that, and we're going to talk about all of the athletic programs at Dalton State. And um, we're going to take your calls. So if you want to talk to get Derek... 423-698-8839 is the number you can call us in. So, Derek, welcome to Chattanooga. Thanks for being with us tonight. Well, I appreciate you having me. It's uh, it's exciting to be up here, um, you know, so close to home. We, we really have had a fantastic uh, run there in, in Dalton and appreciate all the support that we've had from this area, too. I mean, Dalton has gone absolutely crazy, but I think for all of of, uh, of Southern Tennessee here and, and, and all definitely all of Northwest Georgia, it's been it's been a great impact. Yeah, I think Dalton is going crazy again. I remember that we were talking earlier, Ottinger and the teams back then, and the town was on fire with basketball, and that magic's back. Well, it was one of the reasons when I first took the job, you know, basketball was something that was kind of a no-brainer. They already had had a history with it. Um, I thought we could cr uh, create a great atmosphere at the Dalton Convention Center, and um, – it was a natural fit, so I had no idea, no inkling that they would win a national championship in their first year of eligibility to win a national championship. Uh, but at the end of the day, Coach Engel, all the players did just a fascinating, amazing job, and, and truly it's one of the great underdog, when you take all the facts into account, it's really an underdog story of, of the underdog done good. And how many years have we had athletics now under you? Two. Two years and yeah, already won years. national championship. Yeah, and already won national championship. So it's, it's that's been absolutely quick. amazing. Yeah. It yeah. is. And um, man, I can say our community is blessed to have you as our athletic director. Well, thanks, there. I appreciate and, um, that. So we um, tell us what brought you to. Where did you come from to us in Dalton? Um, I was. Um, I originally played basketball at Marist in Atlanta, <clears throat> then went to matriculated to Furman University. Used to play against Mac McCarthy's teams. Uh, here in the round, we used to call it the roundhouse. Yeah, uh, that's the old name. But, of it. but here in the roundhouse, uh, never won a game, but they were always good games. Um, and then after my Furman career, I went to law school at Wake Forest, was a lawyer for one year in Atlanta, and then had the opportunity to join another former UTC great in Murray Arnold. Absolutely. At Stetson University, I was on his first staff down at Stetson. Uh, Murray resigned about three and a half years into the job, and it was passed to me. And was at Stetson for 11 years as the head basketball coach. Spent one year as an assistant athletic director. This job came open. I was familiar with the Dalton area um, from being a high school baseball player more than anything else. We, we had some great series against Dalton High. Really was impressed with just the whole area. I thought the school uh, could be kind of a sleeping giant and had a ton of potential, um, especially athletically. And it was close to home, and it was kind of a new challenge and a great place to raise a family. So made the move to come up here. And it's, I, I tell you what, it is, it is a fantastic story of how a community and a school can get together and do some pretty, pretty cool things because we're not getting a ton of state funding. I mean, we're a public yeah. school, but the misconception there is that people are just printing money and sending it to us from the state. And, uh, but, the, but the private, we, private support we've had has made it possible for us to be so successful. You know, Dalton's always been a, a, a town that did back the sports there and stuff. The local businesses are tremendous. Matter of fact, I put a little video we're going to watch later together. And Fantastic. we're talking to some of the local people that yeah. hosted the parties and stuff in it. We're going to get to watch it later. So, um, it, yeah. It is the most philanthropic, community-oriented place that I've ever been. And when I take my basketball career, my baseball career and everything, I've been to a lot of different communities, especially in the South. And I think... Dalton is truly, truly, truly unique. It's, it's a great town. I lived in Atlanta for a while, too, and I'm back home and love it. Um, now, your second year, you've got a national championship. What are we going to do to top that next year? Well, I, I don't – a universe stuff. championship? Yeah. Uh, well, actually, I, I think what we can do is to not necessarily top it, but to continue in doing what we're doing is we're just now starting to see our athletes graduate. Um, you know, we've only been in existence two years. We had a couple seniors last year, but more seniors this year. We'll have more seniors next year, and then obviously as they matriculate out. And one of our goals as an athletic department is not only be, you know, successful on the field of play, but also produce a lot of young leaders that stay in Dalton and are kind of the new generation of the people coming up with that community mindset. So as we look at our goals, 
they're not only wins and losses. They're, they're, it's, it's a much bigger plan than that. And I'm also extremely proud in terms of what all of our sports have done. Our women's cross-country team won the conference tournament. Um, our men's cross-country team was ranked nationally. Our you know, basketball team won the national title. Our competitive cheer squad is headed to Daytona uh, next week. Uh, wow. Next week. And both of our golf teams are ranked nationally in the top 10 for NAI. So all the teams and, and our tennis teams are doing right, are doing well up at the top of our conference too. So just couldn't, couldn't be more proud of all of our coaches and, and, uh, and all the teams we have and the quality people. No one has, has had to sacrifice the quality of people we have to win games, and that's what I'm probably most proud of. And I think one of the, the most incredible stories is this whole program had to be built ground up. Yeah, I, every coach came in with with an empty office. No, no. Well, I no would roster. love to say they had an office. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, the 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 joke I make is that we had to scratch our way up to scratch, and it really, you know, the job kind of started with the six by six office and and just starting to go after it uh, again through the blessings of um, a lot of people. Privately, we've been able to build the thing because we do not have one state dollar you know, into our facility, the state of Georgia thing into our facility. So it's all been through through private help. And then the city of Dalton and, and Whitfield County has, have both been fantastic there too. So it's really been a, it's a fantastic lesson in partnership. Yeah, and I, um, I know we had Ben Rickett on your golf coach um, last year, and he was talking about building the program from ground up. The challenge mm -hmm. isn't playing at UTC here, but yeah, it was kind of neat to hear the story about how he, he found this player here, that player there, and all that. Yeah. Just building the program from... Well, and, and Ben, you know, Ben's team's ranked, you know, they're right, they, they're on the cusp of top 10. They're, they range from like 9 to 12. And then the women's team's in their first year ever, and they're in the top 10 too. So golf is obviously big in Dalton. Uh, the farm is a fantastic recruiting a, tool. Man, uh, that's awesome. Dalton Golf and Country Club is another great place that we're able to go out and play. And everyone's so supportive. Golf is huge in Dalton, and Ben and Jim McGrew and Marshall Whitener are, are great ambassadors for the game, and, and I'm never hesitant when they're out representing us. You know, I met Ben at the, uh, at the Miracle League. I served in the Miracle mm -hmm. League there and met him up there. I was very impressed, invited mm -hmm. him to come up here, and he did. But, yeah, he is um, he's a class act. Oh, yeah. He, he, he is great, and we're fortunate to have him. And ironically, you know, when you, you always hear the word nationwide search when you're talking about coaches. And I hate that word because anyone that has to do a nationwide search, to me, doesn't have an idea of who they want to hire and why they want to hire them and things like that. We've been blessed with a lot of, I would say, local talent or semi-local. I mean, Ben's, you know, was a Chattanooga and, and, and married a Dalton girl um, that have come in and, and there's no other easier thing to sell than someone local doing well with a local uh, and if program. we talk about Tony Engel later too, with his history of, of playing for Ottinger and all that now and being the coaches. Yeah, all. it's it, it was uh, it, Tony and I used to coach against each other, and I always had there was about three or four of us in the league that I think really got along well. We were always rivals, but we were always friendly rivals, and I always had the utmost respect for him as a person and as a coach, and and that respect, you know, has only grown since we've worked together because I truly think one of the reasons why they won the national title is I just think that they were just very well coached and I could tell everyone was sitting kind of in the hotel in Kansas City and you could see the different teams walk in and there was a palpable difference when our team came in and the focus they had and that's a credit to him to coach Engel the other coaches and also just the type of kids that we had because they were they were there ready to win five games in seven days and winning five games in seven days isn't easy yeah that's i mean that's just grueling yes and a lot of, we got to watch you guys on tv all through the week and all that remember somebody how their legs hold up with their legs hold up and, yeah um, and they did and and i think they had just as much energy in the last game that they did the first I, I, game so it looked like they say the best for last yeah it looked like they say the best for last definitely i, I no. didn't turn my ringer off I, here i give them uh, a, a ton of credit and i, I really do think they were just so well coached. Absolutely. We'll talk about that, guys. We're going to go to commercial break. We'll be right back with Derek Wall. You can give us a call, 423 698 8839. We'll be back in two minutes. Okay. Welcome back to Sports Viewpoints. As you see, disclaimer the opinions of the fabulous B. James and Derek Wall are not the opinions of the rich muckety mucks that own this station. We have to clarify <laughs> that always. <laughs> then, um, so now we've got that out of the way, um, let's talk about the NIA, NAIA National Championship Dalton State Roadrunners. 
it, it it's a collection of guys who you know people say well where where are the guys from the easy thing to say is most of them are, are from the southeast um you've got alabama you've got georgia you've got north carolina uh, you've got Florida. It's <clears throat> it's really kind of a, a group that he's assembled throughout the Southeast um, of kids who were either maybe a little bit under recruited or maybe were considered tweeners or just a lot of different cool stories that brought the kids to Dalton. But once they got there, they all, you know, really meshed well. And in their chemistry, you know, they were the type of team where they could get on each other, but it, no one ever took it personally. And, <clears throat> you know, they got better as the year went on, and they were very balanced as well. I mean, they had two, they had two on the all-tournament team, two different ones made All-American. And frankly, as I sat there and watched all five games of the tournament, I might have named one of their other five starters as their most important player. So there were really no weak links, and then the bench came in and did some great things for them, too. So they really were a complete team and, and, and fun to watch. Yeah, that looked awesome. I mean, we got to watch it at home and all that catch up with you and Calvin at halftime of the yeah. games and stuff and watch all that. But um, now when you hired Tony, was that, a, was that pretty much a no-brainer, too? Or um, It was one where I had a ton of respect for him as a coach. Um, as we had our initial talks, it wasn't just like a given. I mean, it, taking ourselves back to 2012 – you know, I had just left Stetson. He had just left Kennesaw. Mm -hmm. You know, everything was kind of up in the air about what people were doing. And, you know, I knew, I actually did not realize originally when I was coaching against him that he was from Dalton. I obviously found that out pretty quickly. But one of the things I give him credit for is we went through the entire search. I really did not get a call from anyone in Dalton saying, hey, you need to hire Tony Engel wow. or all these things. And, you know, if you're if you're a hometown guy, you can pick up the phone and start putting the pressure on. And I don't know if that's because I had to also talk him into trying to start <laughs> up a program from scratch and, and, and all that stuff as well. But to me, that he made the comment as we were doing all the interviews, and we had some great candidates. He said, I want the best coach to be hired for my alma mater. Obviously, I think that's me. But whoever you make the decision with, I'm sure that'll be the best coach. And, and – um, and, Quite frankly, not to disparage anyone else, but uh, he's done fantastic. Yeah, he really has. And um, I, I've got some respect. We'll talk about Tony in a minute. I've got so much respect for him. Mine Let's see if I do this. Mine one. Speaker, mine one. Speaker, one. Speaker, 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 speaker. You're on the air, Sports Viewpoint. Maybe it's, maybe it's Tim. It's Tim Parker, the ace of stolen yeah. base from the Miracle <laughs> League, live with the fabulous PJ. How are you, my, my friend? Hey, Tim, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I just wanted to congratulate you on a great year so far. Well, thanks. I appreciate that. Tim, Tim is an amazing fan. Um, hey, yeah, he is. Among, I mean, he really is an amazing fan. And he even watched me coach a couple times this year. I'm a community coach. Oh, wow. So I think he, Tim, Tim, you came out just especially to see me coach, correct? Of course. <laughs> now, let's brag on Tim Parker a minute. Now, Tim's the only player to ever be ejected from a Miracle League game. Really? Uh, that's interesting to know. You want to brag on that, Tim? <laughs> no comment. <laughs> no, we had some fun. We set up a loaded bat deal, but Tim volunteered to be the one to get. We brought a new element to the game, but Tim brought the stolen base into the game. He is. And we lost Tim. <laughs> we have lost Tim. Tim, thank you for calling him. No, Tim Parker's an awesome guy. He brought the stolen base element into the Miracle League. He That's is awesome. the ace of stolen base. And he does love. Um, Dalton State Athletics. That's great. Yeah, he's he's a great fan. We've got a lot of great fans. So, um, how about the electricity in Kansas City? Was it was the, how, how about the fan base that came out from Dalton? It was, um, you know, Kansas City's a long way away from here. I mean, it's a it's a good thirteen hour drive. Um, but in terms of being a loud and active fan base, we were there very well represented. Another thing that I liked is that as the week went on. I think the people who were just watching the tournament that were there from Kansas City who just enjoyed watching basketball kind of adopted the team because they had good heart. It was obvious that they liked each other and cared about each other. So I think the band – people started joining the bandwagon, you know, even at the, at the, at the gymnasium. And I can tell you that uh, the place we played in was phenomenal. I mean, one of the oldest uh, – 
one of the oldest arenas in the country. Wow. John Wooden won his first Final Four there. James Naismith coached in there. Uh, the original floor is still underneath the new floor, so it's oh, really a, a lot of history. Tradition too. rich. Yeah, tradition rich. It was you know, a very I love, nice venue. I love history. I love old buildings. I'd hate to see them tore down. I love history like that. Actually, if you got to set up to go to the video, Frankie. We're going to go to a video here. It's going to be some of the local people, more of our local business people, Dalton, talking about, you know, the spirit in town, what else was going on. And then we're going to see some of the parade we had the other day and the awards that we could talk about here. Fantastic. I first want to say that uh, I'm really happy for Dalton State uh, Roadrunners for competing in the national championship and winning. It means a whole lot for the community. There's going to be so much growth in, in downtown Dalton. Getting this national championship has uh, really opened the doors for a, for a lot of uh, young kids and uh, for a lot of kids coming into this area. All right, we can see here the parade that was starting the other night that everyone was in there, and um, I think that's the Dalton High Band there. But man, how about the turnout for the parade the other night on a short notice? Yeah, I, I mean, talk about short notice. That, first off, the, the city did a great job of, of planning the parade. Um, the turnout was fantastic. I planned to walk in it with my kids, <clears throat> but then you see some footage of our athletes throwing out shirts. Some of them were not the world's greatest arm because they were landing in the road. Oh, no, so I was, really I was well. running into the road trying to make sure no one got run over. They actually uh, did really well. I, uh, I had to save my camera from getting knocked over by one of them there, and I caught, <laughs> I caught an extra large my size, actually. Oh, there you go. I'm going to brag on their arms. Um, so I, it, I thought the parade was, was a great touch. Um, and then I also thought the welcome home, which I was settling up some bills in Kansas City, so I was actually behind the basketball team and getting back to Dalton. So I missed the welcome home celebration, but I heard that that was absolutely fantastic and a great moment um, as well. So I did too. I had to go to a funeral that night, visitation, and I, I heard it was just incredible. Yeah, you don't you don't get stuff like this in Atlanta, and and it's no, it's, our town's there's small, such but... so much community pride. Um, that it really, I know, you know, our guys fed off of it. All the athletes fed off of it. And stuff like this does not hurt recruiting. I mean, it's hard to ride in a parade and say, well, I don't want to be a part of that. Yeah, absolutely. And um, I think our town's electric again. And, and I like the term, um, I love the church. So the church, I like the term revival. I think I think there's a revival almost <laughs> in basketball in our town right now of, um, of people getting fired up about Dawson Athletics. Yeah, well, it's 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 that was sort of our goal. And uh, again, I, I knew it would be a process, and it's still a process. We're by no way, shape, or form done trying to build, but uh, but it's been a great start. We can see our mayor there, Dennis Mock, a longtime friend of mine there, great, great guy. And Dennis asked me to uh, to ride in the bucket with him, but I threw <laughs> Sean and Tate in there I, yeah, because Sean, Sean and Dennis are about the same size, yeah. and <laughs> you know I figured neither one would fall out. And there's Coach Tony when um. And, and, and um, Dennis got to give his first key to the city away. For, yes. What an honor for that for this guy. There's Tony. Yeah, Tony doing his thing. You can tell that the weather has gotten a lot nicer since even when the parade was held because it did. It managed it, to get a little bit cold. It on was us, brisk. But... I was the only person there in shorts. <laughs> Tony's sister said, he said, were you the only one in our shorts? I'm like, yes, I was. Yes. Um, but And there's, uh, there's uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Schwinn. Schwinn who uh, was one of the first people that I interviewed with, uh, really did a great job in, in, in bringing athletics back and also trying to expand the school in a lot of other ways. We've added lots of different majors. Um, we're starting to do things with music, drama, um, all that. I, I think Dalton State's on the cusp of really of really becoming a you know even more special place. There we go, Frankie. Thank you for running that, Frankie. Yeah, man, Dalton State is on fire with athletics. Anyway, we're going to go to commercial break, and we're going to come back for our last segment and talk about some of the other sports at Dalton State and what's coming up soon. We'll be back in two minutes. Welcome back to Sports Viewpoints. Uh, the fabulous B. James with Derek Waugh here, athletic director at Dalton College. Derek, again, thanks for being with us. Um, let's tell everybody, what all do you have? We know basketball. Mm -hmm. But let's cover all the sports you have at Dalton College now, maybe what's coming in the future. Well, we're proud of the fact that we have a lot of different sport offerings for our student fee level. Our student fee level is still one of the lowest in the state of Georgia, uh, yet pretty soon we'll have 11 sports. Uh, already have uh, women's cross country, men's cross country, men's tennis, women's tennis, men's golf, women's golf, volleyball, basketball, Competitive cheer will be declared an official NAI sport next year, so they'll be up for a national championship. 
uh, men's soccer is starting next year and then women's soccer after that. So we will have 11 sports at that point. Um, you know, cheer has already been up and going, but it's now going to officially become a sport recognized by the NAI. That That's great. It adds a new dimension, and I think we'll be very competitive there. Went and watched them practice last night. Awesome. Even though it scares me to death when people fly through the air, as a former lawyer and, and athletic director, <laughs> they do a great job, and they stay safe. And then our soccer program will be one that I think, uh, with Dalton's burgeoning soccer community and, and the soccer tradition that's being built, at all the schools there, you know, Absolutely. Uh, not, not only at Dalton High, but the other schools too. Um, I think we'll have an amazing fan base for that too. It wouldn't shock me if they had a parade in, in three or four years. Yeah, yeah, those, they get crazy about the soccer stuff too. Anyway, I want to tell you about this. Um, we got the book here. Now, this is Tony's old book. But I just want to say, you know, Tony is a class act. Integrity, the man's got it. He sent me this when my dad had cancer right before he died. And um, I'll never forget some things, Tony. Um, he said that night when I interviewed him, how do you think? Well, they beat Georgia Tech. Mm -hmm. Waxed them on, in November when he's at Kennesaw. But that's where you match up best, he said, in the heart. Mm -hmm. And I think Dalton State's going to match up in the heart against anybody as well. Yeah, and, and I'm pr really proud of – I think we'll match up in heart and I think we'll match up in spirit and support. Uh, and truly, if you, if you combine all those things, you're going to have a, a, a good program. All right, what else you want to tell us about Dalton State? The girls' golf's coming up. I've seen Council Fire coming up. Count, they play in Council Fire next week. Um, they are, again, this is their first year of, of competing, and it's amazing what they're doing. Uh, you know, ranked, they're picked to win our league already. Um, wow. And, you know, they're ranked in the top ten in the country. If they get four going low at the same time, I mean, who knows? If they catch the win the right way, they could win a national championship. And that's not to put any pressure on them because, my goodness, they're already exceeding expectations. But, you know, both our golf teams have that potential, a lot more potential than I have, to go <laughs> low on the golf course. So they're doing a fantastic job. You know, our tennis is, is having is having a very good season as well. So it's just an exciting time. And, and quite frankly, it's nice to be at a school where, uh, you know, we are supported and we're, and we're winning a lot. So are you planning on being in Dalton for a while? Oh, I'd like to. I, I think it's uh, it's an absolutely fantastic place, not only to raise a family, but I think it's a, a fantastic place to be a young person, a middle-aged person, or a person kind of hitting retirement age. I just think it's a good quality of living, and all you have to do is hit traffic uh, in, on uh, you know I-75 a couple times either in Atlanta or even I could hit it coming up here today to say, wow, I like kind of buzz, being able to buzz around. and see Yeah, when I used to teach at Edelwall there, it would take me – Two hours to go seven miles to get to work every yes. morning. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, uh, so it, it is a great. It's a great quality of life here. It really is, and I think they picked a wonderful athletic director. Tony Engel called you the world's greatest. Oh well. The other night, you know, and um, and Tony thinks highly of his opinions. Yeah, I know. Well, he <laughs> must want to raise, but uh, that, that, and, and we're working on that. But uh, no, I appreciate that, and and with anyone in a leadership position, you're only as good as the people who are working, not for you but with you and i work with amazing people yeah you i think you guys got amazing stuff we've had to, we've got to meet some thank you guys for what you do in the community as when it serves in the miracle league you guys have been up there several times and we start april 11th let me plug the miracle league starts april 11th and we look forward to having you guys up there again i'm gonna put you on the spot here and tim parker's gonna put you on the spot tim needs to steal some bases he, That's yeah what, if i'm coming out there i need to see tim steal watch some your bases. wallet too <laughs> watch your wallet too <laughs> I get on Tim, and Tim's a great guy. He loves the Lord, and, and he's a friend I thank God for. All right, you want to close? Anything else about Dalton State? Uh, hey, it became kind of a hashtag as we were going through this whole thing. I saw it on Bleacher Report, um, some of the bigger websites, but beep, beep, as we, as we went through, it became huge. New shirts. Dalton Daily Citizen was fantastic in covering us with that, too. So And they can get shirts at the Campus Bookstore, correct? Campus Bookstore. I've seen that and, the National Championship. And shirt. I think you're going to see them at Academy Sports, Walmart, all those things going around. And, and people get on us. We're still a small department. So we're, we're trying to get stuff out as much as possible. But if you want it, you can find it. And Absolutely. I'm always available to you know, as you know. Yeah, and thank you for taking the time to come up here tonight and be with us on television. And um, we're not the biggest station in Chattanooga, but we love doing this show about sports and trying to feature no, you know, I, our, our local people. I appreciate you having me, and, it, and it's always great getting the word out. All right, guys, we're going to be signing off. The fabulous B. James and Derek Wall, we'll see you next week. Bill will be back next week, we hope. Anyway, guys, 
Goodbye, Dalton. Good night, Chattanooga. We'll see you later. <laughs>